hey, hey, hey. I'm Chris and Chris, and welcome to So Cool Science. Science you can do right at home. This is Old Faithful, and I'm going over today's science file. And today's science file, it says, How do geysers work? Well, that's an awesome question. Try this. You will need a pot, a funnel, some water, and your stove. Start by getting yourself some pot. Um, I mean, I mean, a pot. Yeah, 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 a pot. And you're gonna take your pot, and you're gonna fill it with water. Next, get yourself a funnel. And you're gonna place your funnel inside your pot like this. Next, you're gonna get yourself some tin foil. <laughs> no, you don't need like a ton. You just need like a little bit, you know, because all you're gonna do is like hover over the top of the pot. And so poke the funnel through the tin foil. And then wrap the tin foil around the pot. Okay, so now place this on your burner and set the burner to the highest temperature. Now, hey, listen, stand back, because this thing is going to be shooting off steam like crazy. actually work in the Earth's crust. Well, don't look at me! Take a closer look at this. Geysers are eruption spouts of steam and hot water from within the Earth's crust. Geysers start out as hollow chambers in the Earth's crust that get filled with water from the water table or underground rivers. If these water chambers happen to be near a volcanic source, the volcanic rock boils the water. Some of this water escapes as steam, which lowers the weight of the water. Since the boiling point of the water drops down below the already boiling water, this causes the water to instantly vaporize or expand rapidly. This rapid expansion creates enough pressure which causes it to erupt from the Earth's crust as a jet of steam and hot water. The height of the geyser depends on the amount of water. The more water you have, the more water will instantly vaporize and thus more pressure, leading to a higher spot. Almost all the geysers on Earth occur in Iceland, New Zealand, and the United States. So now you know more about geysers. You know, making your own geyser right at home is why science is so cool.